Well, here's Snowball. This is uh, day three or day four, I can't remember. I had her in a little dog crate with a heating pad underneath it and some straw overnight. She did fine. She likes it in there. Brought her out to this corner of the coop so I can uh, water her. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the water it's got electrolytes in it. She hasn't really drunk anything. So there we go. She's drinking something now. Um, but yeah, she's pretty much refused to drink anything. So I'm just using the dropper to get it into her beak. It uses surface tension, basically. So the good thing is it'll absorb right into her mouth. If I just get it into the crack of her beak so there's nothing violent or fussy here. I don't have to pin her down and open her mouth and everything. It'll all go in slowly. Just putting drop by drop on her mouth and then, you know, making sure the drops kind of roll down underneath her beak. And once they get there, they kind of go into her mouth. And then once in a while, she realizes that they're there. Kind of hope I'm there we go. And then she, she drinks and then I can squeeze a lot more in while she's drinking. Because I don't want to put it down and have it run down her throat. This is water with electrolytes in it. So there, got it wicked around. Okay. Come on, Snowball. You're a good girl. You gotta drink something. I want to finish one water bottle, or one dropper bottle of water for her. It's a little more water than is in one egg. Um, I hope that her body is not trying to produce more eggs and getting multiple jam ups in there. There we go. Good girl. Come on. I don't exactly know how chicken production works. I just happen to own some chickens. I'm not an expert. Good girl. But Snowball here is a sweetie. She was a feisty one. She used to be the boss of the coop. And um, she's looking a lot perkier now that she's had a little bit of water in her. She used to be really, really mean to the other chickens. And... Uh, so I gave her a time out one day and put her in a separate part of the coop. My coop is separated in two, two halves. And I put her in the other half. And that, unfortunately, I forgot her there because I was working. And I was going out early morning and coming back late at night. And I forgot to change the water. And she ran out of water. And she was a day without water. And that'll kill a chicken faster than anything is a day without water. And since then, she's just been the sweetest little thing. Not mean. She did lose rank in the chicken. Um, what do you say? In the in the flock, she definitely lost rank. She used to be the top. Now she's somewhere around the middle, but she's still very good. She's a good little layer too, and she's a sweet little birdie. One of my first from this flock. So I, I hope to keep her alive for a few more years. Come on, Snowball, you can do it. Drink a little more. Yeah. You see how she's standing and she was sitting and her tail is down. That tail down is a sure sign that something's wrong. Basically, she's got a lot of pain down under because of the egg being bound up. And this was explained to me. And the pain basically makes them shut down. Um, they stop eating and they stop walking around and stuff because it hurts too much. So they just kind of curl up and then they might end up dying. But the egg is out of her. It broke and it was probably a soft shell. So it's just a matter of getting her cleaned out. I haven't had the soft shell come out yet. But she is really swollen down there. She's not super hard anymore, which is a good sign. So I think it's just a matter of keeping her alive and keeping her hydrated and with electrolytes this is this water has electrolytes in it and hopefully she'll pull through keeping her warm comfortable hydrated fed and hopefully she'll pull through all right snowball you're a good little snowball you're such a good girl yes you are